So, do we still think that this is just a game? Let's talk about reality and illusion. Let me ask you all something. What is the difference between something that is real and a fictional thing? Fiction has to make sense. <laughs> what would the difference feel like to you? Are you pretending to be here? Hmm? I am not. I am present right here, right now. And I feel your presence too, all of you. Or are we all just dreaming? The Hindus speak of a concept they call Maya. The word Maya means the dream story, the illusion we are all sharing collectively, right along with the divine. The whole of the past, everything, including all of history and the future too, are held within that dream story. Everything we think is real in the Hindu construct is mine. Everything. Think about it. Perhaps this very moment is us waking from the dream, collectively awakening. Aha! That feels good, doesn't it? See, all the time, we are participating in some story. Often it's a factual story, and sometimes it's fiction. Whichever may serve us best in that moment. Sometimes the, quote, true story is a lie, or at least it doesn't serve our growth very well. And we are all now awakening from a story that wasn't working. One that is crumbling from the inside out. You know it, and I know it. Our story needs to change, doesn't it? We need a new story. One that is more humane and more one with a happy ending, or not. Well, maybe we here together are at the beginning of that new story. Let's look more closely. You believed a lot of things about me. Real or imagined, it's just a story that was told. Remember the day you walked into the induction center. I promised you two things. One, that you would begin to notice the divine occurring all around you in a thousand minuscule ways. Uh -huh. And two, for those dark horses with the spirit to look up and see a recondit family awaits. Uh, look around you. We are that family. And this, this is only the beginning. And it can have a happy ending. But let's focus first on this happy beginning. Look at us. We have all occupied this universe collectively. <coughs> Seeds were sown, watered, and nurtured with your love and your energy. Look at what we have to 
to show for it. It's amazing. Okay. Lock the doors and release the poisonous gas, please. <laughs> huh? Scared you. <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> I get scared too. Even I didn't know what was going to happen here today. <laughs> and it got me to thinking, do we ever really know the full outcome of anything? It is frightening when you go out on this limb and come face to face with the unknown, isn't it? Yes. You see, we live and dance on the edge of an abyss, always. And it takes great heart to be able to feel the fear and keep dancing. No doubt about it. We have taken great risks, and we are all dancing, dancing along the precipice at the edge of the world. Keep this in mind. The cave we fear most to enter holds the very treasure that we seek. So I congratulate us, all of us, you, 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 my son, and you. I acknowledge how far you all have come, and I honor you. Ava. <sighs>